Okay, I think I'm recording. Sweet. Uh, welcome, contemporary world. It's uh, contemporary world problems, students. Um, today's uh, quick video uh, is just about uh, the assessment on the war uh, in Ukraine and human rights. So it was just posted here on the home page. Um, if you click there, it will take you to uh, a page that has a couple of things I want to show you. Um, so I want you to be able to watch this video and understand exactly how to do well in this assessment. Um, the learning target should look pretty familiar. Uh, we've been uh, working with something similar all week, um, but I'll start there just as a way of, of really grounding what we're doing, is that we want to be able to um, uh, analyze the current war in Ukraine as both an example of human rights being violated as well as human rights being promoted. Um, what's another way of saying promoted? Um, another way of saying promoted would be that they're being upheld or that they are being um, enforced. So things that would promote a human right would be holding people accountable for those violations, or punishing a country, uh, trying to end what they're doing. These are all things that are trying to promote human rights. Um, okay, what else? Um, your language goal, uh, I can read evidence and quotes about human rights in the war in Ukraine, and I can either write a short essay or speak out loud a recorded presentation. So the, the standard that we're gonna be assessing, um, which is down here, um, doesn't say that you have to write or that you have to speak, you can, you can assess the standard in different ways. So you should use the way that feels good to you. Um, I am just gonna read through all these real quick. So uh, step number one, watch the video you're currently watching, review the rubric below. Step two, use the quotes and thoughts from your, class, uh, from your classmates that are in the shared document link below to answer this week's essential question. Um, this week's essential question is right here. How is the war in Ukraine an example of human rights being violated? Could it also be an example of human rights being promoted? Okay. Um, next up, you're going to be able to um, use sentence starters uh, to write a short essay or record yourself presenting your ideas out loud. Okay. Um, let's take a look at this standard because um, we've we've talked a little bit about it, but not I haven't shown it to you guys. And I want you to be able to see it before you assess on it. So whenever you look at a standard, you want to start by looking at the section that says meeting. Uh, and so you're going to be able to analyze, uh, in this case, not historical, right? We're talking about contemporary um, means of changing societies, promoting, hmm, it's kind of hard to read, uh, promoting the common good and protecting rights. Also, this idea of emerging comes in, and I'll talk to you a little bit about like emerging uh, ways that 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 people are able to promote their rights. Um, then let's take a quick look at the look fors down here. Uh, can you analyze how human rights are promoted and violated by societies and laws? Can you analyze how individuals, groups, and institutions have worked to protect the rights? Um, and um, if we look at the four level, we're talking about emerging means of changing rights. So analyze how a human right can be promoted. Uh, let's see. Contemporary societies may not change. So honestly, what I'm thinking about here, though, is uh, emerging means of, of changing societies. The, the fact that this, this war is, um, is, is very much being recorded and, and published on social media, it's having a big impact on who all knows about the rights violations and how easy it could hopefully one day be to prosecute people for human rights violations. So when you're thinking about trying to work towards that for, you might want to talk about you know how are the new technologies of social media um, uh, emerging as a new way to promote human rights. Okay. Next up, um, you're looking at this document that we've been working on for a couple of days, and I thought I had it posted up here, yeah. So this is the shared document that we've been using um, to gather, oh my goodness, it looks very weird on the screen. <laughs> um, can I zoom out? What is this all about? Wow, it's like giant. So, um, sorry about that. This, uh, this is the document that we've been using to gather quotes. 
quotes um, from these different resources. I don't know why it's showing up so crazy on this document. Um, and so these are the ones that you're going to be looking for as you go to find evidence. Um, so what you would be finding is, um, let's see, how about, here's a good one. I was working on this one today uh, on Zoom with some students. And, and so um, here's an example um, of, uh, of a soldier being found guilty of violations of laws, of uh, human rights laws. And so this, you know, this part right here, this is gonna be a lot of your reasoning that you're gonna be using. So this will be your evidence, and this will be your reasoning. Okay, and so that's why I wanted to have this shared document, even though it looks kind of crazy uh, here <laughs> on the big board. It looks like this for you guys, uh, hopefully, I'm here for you. I wanted to have this shared document so that everyone has access to the same evidence. Um, and so you can imagine this almost like a poster on the wall of, of the classroom. You know, while you're taking a test, everyone can look up at that poster and see what was written there. And so on that document, you're gonna find a lot of really good information. Okay. The, the last thing to show you is, um, well, here, here's how to do the different options for uploading. So you can either use the text box down below, you can uh, copy um, a document and, and type on it, and then upload that document, or you can record yourself speaking. Um, I will uh, show you how, what that looks like real quick. So in order to, to, to turn in your assignment, you're gonna have to click Start Assignment, and then down here, here's where you're gonna see those options. Um, you can do a text entry if you just want to write, you know, straight up write in, in Canvas. Um, if you want to upload a file, you're probably going to be using Google Drive. Or if you do the media option, that's where you're recording yourself. Okay. If you click on that, click record upload media, click on text box. That means you're just typing, like, literally in this text box right here. Um, but the question is, is what are you typing or what are you recording yourself saying? And that's why I've included some sentence starters. This is going to be like a short essay. And so you should have a, a hook and a claim. And so a hook is just a sentence that is, um, you know, telling people, you know, kind of grabbing their attention. Uh, so the world was shocked by, you know, something when Russia invaded the country of Ukraine 10 months ago. You can obviously use a different hook, um, you know, whatever, but that just kind of gives you an example. Uh, this is a claim that you can use. The war in Ukraine is a modern-day example of human rights being both violated and promoted or upheld. That's the claim that you're going to be proving throughout the essay today. And then you're going to need to have, um, you know, for lack of a better word, you can think of this as one paragraph and then a second paragraph. Um, it doesn't need to be in paragraphs. You might chunk it out like that just to kind of keep things clear. But you're going to need to have one section that's talking about, you know, ways in which human rights are being violated. I want you to use more than one piece of evidence. Um, and so then you're going to find evidence and then you can use a sentence starter like this to introduce your evidence. Evidence for human rights violations can be seen in source. You know, what's the source? Um, you know, NPR article, Guardian article, UN report, whatever it might be. When it states that, that, that this is where you put the quotes. Um, and then your reasoning. You need to have your own words. Um, you know, sometimes I see people write an essay and it's all just quotes. It's not really an essay, that's a list of quotes. And so you want to have a section, a statement after each piece of evidence that says, this shows that people's human rights are being violated because. And just talk about how that quote that you just had up here, how does that tie back up, you know, with your claim, which is here, that uh, human rights are being uh, both violated and upheld. Okay. So then you're going to do the exact same thing for. Uh, for human rights violations, as well as for human rights being promoted, and then your conclusion is here. Okay, and I'm posting this Wednesday afternoon. You've got all day Thursday, all day all day Friday to do this, um, and uh, it will hit the grade book um, when we get back from break. Um, but I want you to know you don't have to do it on your own. If you are working on this and you'd like to work together, um, share a document with me. Like make a copy of this document here. And uh, and just share share a copy of it with me. Say, hey, here's what I've got going so far. Um, can you help me to to finish up my thoughts? Um, you know, this is a process where we're practicing together. This is the first time I've had you write something, you know, quite this structured. Um, and I want you to be able to to have support along the way. 
You can also take a picture of what you're working on and send me a text or an email. It's another great way for me to say, yep, you're on, off to a great start, add in this other thing. Um, all of those are good options uh, or stop by the small group Zoom. Alrighty, have a wonderful, wonderful rest of your day. If I don't talk to you in person, have a wonderful, wonderful winter break. Bye.